Well, hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Jessica Likewise, if you don't know who I am. Well, I've been making videos for the last couple months as I was studying for my BCBA exam in order to help you study with me. Well, good news, I passed my exams. This is my first video officially as a BCBA. Now, I've been getting a ton of inquiries on social media as to whether or not I'm gonna stop making videos after I post that I pass. Well, good news for you is I am not going to stop making videos helping you study. Every Sunday, we're gonna call it Study Sunday, I'm going to be dropping a video to help you study for your BCBA exam. Um, you know, for me, I, it was a long journey for me to get my BCBA, and I know that oftentimes resources tend to be limited when you're taking your exam, so I just am doing this as a free gift for you to help you study. So today we're going to talk about the difference between observer drift and treatment drift, which is the question someone sent in. Hey guys, and welcome back. So, like I said, I got a question and that's what's the difference between observer drift and treatment drift? Before I answer that, if you want me to answer your question next Sunday, just go to my website, hopeeducationservices.com. There's a form, you can fill it out, send me an email, and I'll answer your question next week. So to answer this person's question, drift has to do with no, like starting off doing something the right way and then stopping doing it the right way and starting and doing it differently. So what's the difference between observer drift and treatment drift? Well, observer drift has to do with data collection. So essentially you started recording the behavior one way and then the way in which you recorded the data changed. So let's just say you're doing an intervention and a child uh, is engaging in vocal stereotypy. And the behavior plan says that vocal stereotypy is the child will admit a loud screeching noise for a ma you know, minimum of three sentences and each occurrence counts with five seconds in between is one occurrence. So let's just say that's a definition, right? And then let's just say that child is starting to make whistling sounds. And the person who's recording data just starts all of a sudden calculating the whistling into the data. Now you see that the data is going up and the person who wrote the intervention is gonna say, well, what's going on? Like with BCBA, right? We'll go through this and say, what's happening? Well, it turns out that unintentionally, inadvertently, the way that the data was recorded started to change. That's observer drift. The observer started to count things that were not really in the initial criteria for what the behavior was. That's observer drift. So observer drift always has to do with data collection. So what is treatment drift? Well, treatment drift is when the intervention stops being carried out as planned. So observer drift has to do with data, Treatment, di treatment drift has to do with the intervention. So that's when you start changing the intervention again inadvertently. Maybe you start off and you're following the intervention perfectly. And then you start to stop following the intervention. So let's just say that, you know, the child's on an FR1 schedule and then you stop reinforcing the child every time. Now, obviously, uh, reinforcement beginning is something we want to do anyway, but right. But let's just say that that is what the reinforcer says and then or re the intervention says, and then you just stop kind of doing that and you're doing it once every three times or five times. And all of a sudden it looks like the intervention's not working anymore. And you're like, wait, what happened? That would be treatment drift, right? It's when you drifted away from the original treatment plan. Well, let's just say that you know, a treatment plan, an example of a drift, and this is kind of a silly one, but let's just say that the child is getting Play-Doh every five minutes, and then one day you switch over to Silly Putty, and now the intervention stops working. Maybe Silly Putty wasn't as reinforcing as Play-Doh, and you had drifted from the original treatment, the original intervention. So again, so that's going to be the difference. And on your test, you really, you know, what you're looking for when you're trying to differentiate the difference between observer drift and treatment drift is really just knowing treatment drift, associate with that intervention, that with the intervention, and observer drift, associate that with the data. So I hope that you found this video helpful. Like I said, I'm going to continue to put out videos just like this one. So please subscribe to my channel. Now, if you were watching these videos and they're helping you, drop a comment and let me know because honestly, I wasn't going to make these videos. Um, I wasn't going to continue making them for 
studying. I, you know, I have, I've always made videos for parents. I was going to go back to that. I'm still going to go back to making videos for parents, but I wasn't going to continue these study videos until people asked me to. When I had people reach out on social media and said, hey, I'm watching your videos. It's really helping me. Thank you. I was like, awesome. I'll keep making them. So if you're watching this video, this is helping you study. Just drop a comment below to let me know. And I will promise if you do that, I'll keep making the videos for you. So have an amazing weekend, everyone. And I look forward to seeing everyone next Sunday on Study Sunday.